Hey, what's up? My name is Kenny, and today I'm gonna walk you through and give you a short tutorial on how to use Grow Slides. And if you're still wondering what is Grow Slides, why would I wanna use it? Well, the answer to that is we created Grow Slides to be a very easy and simple way to send slideshows to any TV across your entire church or building. So as soon as you log in, you're gonna land on a page like this. This is the Grow Slides dashboard. And in this first section up here, you're gonna see the recent slideshows that you've been editing. So for instance, I was just editing a slideshow for our preschoolers and I've connected this slideshow to our preschool room. So we're teaching a series called Miraculous and this is week one. And inside of the slideshow are all the videos, all the slides, everything we're gonna to wanna to present to our preschoolers on the TV is built into the slideshow. And I'm gonna show you how to build a slideshow or preload a slideshow from Grow Curriculum in just one moment. Uh, and then this slideshow is connected to our youth room and it is a series called Restart. It's the first week of that. So all of the videos and graphics and everything we wanted in that slideshow is right there. And then this one I created for our cafe. So let's say that you sell coffee or other items or you wanna put some information above your cafe and you have a TV there you can create a slideshow just for your cafe as well. So this is the recent slideshow area and you can click on any of these if you wanna edit any of these slideshows very quickly or you can find all of your slideshows in the feed section. So the thing about feeds is you're gonna to wanna to create a separate feed for every single TV you have in your church. So for instance, I've named these elementary room. We have a TV in our elementary room. So all of our slideshows for our elementary kids go in this feed. Uh, let's say you have a TV in your preschool room. You can connect this feed to that TV. Let's say you have a TV in your youth room. Maybe you have a TV in the lobby. As people are walking in, you want to display announcements or videos. You can connect this feed to that TV. Uh, maybe you have a cafe. You want to connect a feed to your cafe TV. Basically, you can create unlimited feeds and send unlimited slideshows across your entire church or entire building. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to actually create a slideshow. So I'm gonna click here, and this is the elementary room. Right now we have no slideshows in this room or in this feed, so let's go ahead and add a slideshow. And the cool thing about Grow Slides is you can, of course, create a slideshow from scratch, and we're gonna do that right now, um, but you can also preload a slideshow from Grow Curriculum. So if you are a Grow Curriculum subscriber, all you have to do is choose the series and the week and all of the content, all of the images, all of the videos, everything you're gonna need for teaching that week of Grow Curriculum will automatically be loaded into that slideshow. And of course, you'll be able to edit it, take slides away, add new slides, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute as well. But let's go ahead and start by creating a new fresh slideshow from scratch. So we click new slideshow, and you're gonna see, we automatically have one slide loaded. So over here on the left, and we can add a slide, add another slide. These are all of the slides that you're going to have in your slideshow. And then let's say you wanted to add text, an image, a video, a background image, a, maybe some music. Um, you can do all of that right here on any of your slides. So let's say we wanted to edit the text of this slide. Go ahead and click the text, and over here you're going to see this formatting panel. Maybe we want to change the font of our text. Go ahead, we'll change it to Comic Sans. We all love Comic Sans. We can make it bold. We can change the size of it. Let's say we want it a little bigger. We'll go 100. Okay, great. So now we've got the text edited. You can click in here and change the text to whatever you want. And maybe you want to add a background image to your slide. Let's go ahead and do that. So you just click right in here and find the image. I've got this image of some wrinkled up paper, a classic background. Let's go ahead and load that. Boom, now we got a slide with a background image and some text on it, and you can add videos or images or create new slides. And so as you click through the slides, you'll see that you have all these different slides here. Once you've actually created your slideshow and you're done with it and you're ready, well, first you're gonna to wanna to name it. So let's call this test one. And then once you're ready to actually publish it and show it on your TVs, you're gonna to wanna to hit this publish button. So you're gonna to wanna to hit that and it's gonna take a few minutes for it to actually publish because it's uploading now all of the images, the videos, the text, and then once it does that, it's ready to be shown on the TV in the room that you're connected to. 
So let's go back here to our elementary room feed and we have one slideshow, it's called test one. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to connect that to a TV in just a minute using an Apple TV or a Roku or an Amazon Fire Stick or any streaming device. Um, but let's add a grow curriculum slideshow. I'll show you how to do that. So we hit grow slideshow and let's say you're using grow kids. You'll see you have a grow kids folder, a grow students folder, grow games, um, whatever you're subscribed to in grow games, everybody has access, that's free. But let's say you're subscribed to grow kids and you're subscribed to volume eight of Grow Kids, it'll show up there. Now all of the slides, or all of the series are right here. Let's say we want to upload Blast Off. We've got Blast Off Preschool Week One, Blast Off Elementary Week One, Week Two, Week Three, Week Four. So all of the slideshows are pre-built. Let's go ahead and load the preschool one, and you'll see that over here, all of the slides for your teaching are pre-loaded. And of course, you can add or change uh, slides if you want to. So, okay, looks like there's an extra slide in here we don't need. When you want to delete a slide, you're going to right click on it and this menu is going to pop up and go ahead and hit delete. And then once you do that, that slide's gone. Um, let's say you wanted to preview what this video was. This is the bumper video for Blast Off. Let's go ahead and click the play button. <laughs> good. Now you can click on any of these. Let's say you wanted to add text to this. Okay, you can add some text in here. And of course, we're going to want to change the color. So let's change the color of the text to white. All right. And then you can go in and edit the text however you want. New text here. Um, and then of course, you can change it, you can edit it, you can move it around. Let's say you wanted to put the text over here and you wanted to put some more text on this. Uh, of course, you're gonna to wanna to change it to white or whatever color you want. Maybe this one's gonna be yellow. Basically, you can do whatever you want and add text, videos, and create your slideshow however you want. You can see that the big idea is already preloaded. We can spend time with God. Week one of Blast Off is all about telling kids that they can spend time with God and showing them how to do that. And we've got our teaching video here, so you can preview that if you want to check that out. It's there it is right there. What are we gonna do? Uh, and then uh, you've got all of your slides here for teaching the Bible story. And then you've got the memory verse. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. So everything for week one of Blast Off is preloaded in this slideshow. So now we can go back to our feed and you can see, okay, we've got Blast Off Preschool Week 1. We've got, and of course we loaded the preschool, we could have loaded the elementary for the elementary room. We've got our test slideshow here. And then when we go back to our slides dashboard, you'll see that they're right here if we wanna go back and edit them again. So let's talk about actually adding this new uh, feed to our TV, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is go to your TV and whatever streaming device you're using, you're gonna wanna open that up and download the Grow Slides app. All right, so let's say you're using an Apple TV, you're gonna to wanna to find the App Store and then you're gonna go over and search for the Grow Slides app. So go ahead and type in Grow Slides and it's gonna be the only app, at least at this point. So go ahead and download it and then you're gonna to wanna to open it. And the first thing that you're gonna see when you open it is just the enter your feed code type here. That's all you have to do. There's no login. It's super easy. We're gonna type in the feed code of the feed that we wanna show on our TV. And then you hit submit. And then look at that. All of a sudden, your slideshow is automatically playing on the TV. And now you can, and you can control your slideshow using the remote for whatever device you're using. So if you're using an Apple TV, use the Apple TV remote and so on. All right, I hope that was helpful. And of course, we wanna hear your feedback. And if you run into any issues or bugs or have suggestions on how to make Grow Slides even easier and better for your ministry, we've got this little chat icon. You can always chat with us down here. And of course, 
you can always click on contact and you can contact us in multiple different ways through chat. You can call us and leave a voice message or you can email us at support at stuff you can use org and we would be happy to get back to you. And uh, we're just excited to hear what you think and are always going to be improving growth slides. So we want to hear your feedback. All right. You guys are amazing. Thank you for everything you do ministering to the people you do in your churches and we'll talk to you later. See ya.